Hi, in this video uh, I will show how to uh, un unlock the uh, Distronic Pro uh, at the cars where is the only uh, FCA, Front Collision Assist installed. So uh, it has two steps. First, you have to replace the uh, that buttons to these buttons. You can order it uh, separately at the Mercedes-Benz. So the difference is, is this one. You see the uh, here is the limits is here, uh, but at the uh, buttons we need, there is a uh, distance control button here. So in order to replace it, you have to disassemble it uh, steering. So uh, uh, now uh, I will show uh, what do you need. And it, you, you can definitely do it yourself. And uh, uh, you only need the uh, uh, torque screwdriver with bits uh, like T20 and T10. So uh, it can be different screwdriver, but I use this one. So uh, also I would recommend you have the very simple screwdriver just to disconnect. Uh, this is very useful when you will disconnect connectors inside the steering. So uh, before you start, extremely important to disconnect the battery. And now I'm going to show you how to do it at GLE. So the battery connector, negative pole is under this one. Uh, to uh, open it, just pull it up here, pulled, and then pull it uh, here. It's important have the uh, sliders here. It's important to uh, get it back. So the battery connector is here. To access this, I moved, I moved the seat at the front. But this is very important. You turn it back before you disconnect the plug. I mean the pole. So first you, you need this uh, uh, for 10 and then just unscrew. You need to unscrew it totally. I mean, uh, release the uh, nut fully. So it's uh, now it's released, but do not disconnect it yet, because otherwise you will have very small space at the uh, steering wheel. So now I'm gonna move the uh, dr uh, the seat back. So I'm, I'm moving it back. So now seat is back, but the uh, the pole is still accessible. And now we're gonna use this one, not to let the pole too bad. So I I, I uh, remove the pole, and that put the uh, this plastic stuff under this, preventing the back connection. So now it's done. The battery is disconnected, and now we can uh, disassemble the steering. First, now you have to remove the uh, airbag. Uh, it's very simple. You just you just need to find a way. There is a very si small, uh, uh, like like hole here. When your uh, steering uh, never removed, there is no hole there, but you can still feel the uh, with your finger where is the, the hole is. It's some kind of, but you feel it. So after that, just take the T20 screwed uh, screwdriver right torx and put it to the hole. It's like 25 degrees, so like this way, like this way. And then just push it, pumps, and you see it's released on that side. After that, simply do it on the other side. Okay, now the airbag released. Uh, be careful here, I mean, uh, just not to scratch it. Keep it carefully in one hand. And there is a uh, connector here, so you have to uh, 
push both sides and then remove. I'm using this screwdriver because it's very useful for connectors. It's not easy sometimes, especially for the first time. So now it's done. The next, you have to uh, unscrew this, uh, these three uh, screws. Uh, the problem is uh, these screws uh, uh, tighten very tight. So for this, I'm using the big screwdriver, electric. Uh, because sometimes it's when it's... Uh, okay, the same T20. Okay. From the factory, it's, it's tight and very tight. Only this three. So, okay. This is done. Now I take this one again. Next. The spring is connected with only one connector. So just uh, pull it. Only one ground wire. It has the pin inside, so sometimes it's difficult. So now the screen is out. Next, next, these three screws, actually uh, two screws, one and two, to release the whole button uh, unit. And on the, this kind, non-AMG wheels, you have to unscrew these two, and other two are here under the wheel. You can feel the uh, holes there. Whereas your uh, steering wheel is AMG uh, with, uh, with metal buttons, there are only two of these. So now we're gonna, Unscrew these two. Okay. And now it's a tricky. Okay. On the back side, one and one to go. Okay, done. Now, uh, if your uh, steering was never disassembled, sometimes it's uh, difficult to uh, remove this one. So you can use any plastic stuff, but not here where you can damage the skin. Uh, you can put it here and there. Okay, removed, but not totally. Here also be careful not to do any scratches at, at the skin. You can, because there are two connectors here also. So the first one is here, the black one, uh, white one, and the black one on that, that side. So first, One, be careful, you have uh, to remove only white one, but not the, the rest one. And here, the black one. Removed. Now, we're gonna unscrew this one. And now we're gonna change torques from T20 uh, for 210, for 10 one. Where is my 10? Here. So, T10. It just simply unscrew three more screws. You see, one, two, three. One. Two. And three. Okay. Then, remove is very simple. 
push it this way and remove okay and then we use new one to connect you see first this one and then okay now we screw him back Okay, so T10 is not necessary anymore, but where is my 220? Now we again need T20 and uh, we need to connect it back. First, start with connectors. Uh, uh, the tricky part is here because uh, there is a holes for these two connectors and it is very important to put them uh, to the to these uh, holes because otherwise it will uh, it will work not correct so just be uh, be careful about that i mean okay so down now we can make one white one and then black one Okay, and now just connect all of them back. Now I'm gonna screw back these two and back two. Okay, this is the last one done with balance, and the next is spring. So First, I, uh, I, I'm connecting this one back. Okay, connected back. And then uh, I will need my big and strong screwdriver. This one. Again, I put the T20 Torx. And then I'm pushing it at the highest level. 20. On my S20. So I just put it to the st strongest level of first one. And when I'm, I'm pressing the one, you can do it with manual screwdriver, no doubt. So not necessary to buy the tool. So now it's okay. So everything almost finished. Now we take the airbag and uh, we connect the connector first. Just push it there. Then uh, look, uh, the airbag ward have to be at the down and then just push it. Done. We totally made an assembly. And now we're gonna connect the uh, battery back. Okay, uh, first, uh, hold the uh, uh, hold the uh, connector from the uh, from um, going it down, and then I remove this preventer. <laughs> Call it okay ins insulation, and then. Uh, the best is to connect it in one movement. So center it and then up, connect it. So, but you connect it and then now it's enough power to the, uh, move the, uh, the seat forward. So I'm gonna move it forward.
Okay. Now it is possible to to screw it. Uh, you have to screw it tight, but please do not use any force. I mean, uh, not do not try to put as much power as you can. Just screw it uh, till the you feel the it's tight. So it's okay. And then now it's tricky. You see, these two have to be there. So you put it here and then slide it forward. So I put it and then slide it forward and then just push it down to the, to the click. Done. We are ready, connect it all back. And then in the next part, I will show you how we do coding because we just uh, changed the uh, steering wheel and now we will have the error at the cluster. But uh, after coding, uh, the Distronic will work.